Y'all, I've got a little bit different setup behind me because I'm in a hotel in Kennewick, Washington. I'm visiting family, um, our kids and our grandkids, um, but I'm by myself this trip. Anyways, <laughs> I realized I forgot to film the intro and outro to my video, so here we are, wet hair and all. <laughs> Uh, you know, I'm keeping it real, right? And I wanted to come on here and say hi. Thanks for clicking on my video. Thanks for watching my video today. And today's video is part of a playlist. It's an open playlist. I'm hosting it with my friend Katie from Lady Red Crafting. She asked me to host through the end of the year with her and I was like, yes, I would love to. And so here we are. <laughs> and then our guest host this month is Annie from Crafting with Indie Annie Jones, another favorite of mine. So I am just this playlist is going to be awesome. I hope you check out the links to the other host channels below, Katie's and Annie's, and check out the playlist link because there's going to be lots of good inspiration for you. The theme is Everything Farmhouse, and I think you're going to like it. So let's quit talking about it, and let's be about it, and let's get crafting. On this channel, I love to share easy DIYs and budget home decor. And if we haven't met yet, my name is Lisa, and this is Our Gray House. Y'all, we're kicking off this video with a super easy DIY. I have a scrap piece of wood that I'm staining with Waverly Wax in the color Antique. If you don't have Waverly Wax, then use Thin Dap Brown paint. You could paint it purple. Really, just use what you have, use what you love, and it's going to turn out fabulous. This is what I have on hand, and these are the colors I prefer, so that's what I'm doing. And I thought I was going to dry brush on Waverly chalk paint in the color Snow White. I thought I'm just going to do a dry brush because I do like the primitive kind of rustic look, but I was going to be putting a rub on transfer and it was going to, it, it was not going to work out the way that I wanted to. So I took that same chalk paint in the color Snow White and I'm just giving it a really good coat on the front, but I'm leaving the rest of it just the stain color. And you can kind of see that rub on transfer there in the corner, but um, this is so simple and easy to do, and it turns out so cute. So then I take the rub on transfer and I just start rubbing it on. And the trick to this is you rub it on, but don't lift it um, all the way, and you'll kind of see if you need to rub on some other areas. It's not hard to do, and Dollar Tree, this is where I got the rub on transfer, Dollar Tree has some super cute rub on transfers and they also have really cute cling vinyl clings as well so lots of different ways that you can make super cute decor and this is how it turned out y'all I love it it was so easy simple to make and so budget friendly um, let me know what you think in the comments below I'm making a double-sided sign but this side of the sign we're going to stain the top portion with Waverly Wax in the color antique and again just like I said if you don't have Waverly Wax Use brown paint. Use another color. Use the color you love. It's all about making this kind of cater to your style, to your taste. Now, I've left the painter's tape on. I didn't remove it or adjust it or anything like that. And I'm painting the bottom portion with Waverly chalk paint in the color black. Again, this is my style. These are my colors that I enjoy and I like seeing. So that's the ones I use. But if there's different colors or a different style that goes better with your home, then maybe do that. I'm pulling back the tape and I'm leaving that center piece blank because I'm going to be adding um, something to it in a minute. I did cut out a stencil with my Cricut, but I promise y'all there are so many cute vinyl clings and rubber transfers at Dollar Tree you're really missing out if you haven't looked and scoped that out because you might find something super cute that will work with what you want to do. So I'm added the This Is Us to the top. Y'all, it's crooked. I mean, <laughs> it's like, just like, what? Like, what's going on here? So I had to adjust it because we, I could, I, sometimes I, I measure with my heart, you know, and sometimes it's okay, but this one was just like, I mean, it was way off. So I lifted up the stencil and I'm having to be careful because there was like little pieces, as you can see, that have to go back on the stencil when I set it down the second time. So now I'm, let's see, I, I still didn't measure it really, but I'm trying to set it down and then I'm putting those little pieces to the S and to the T and the H, I'm putting that back. And 
works out fine. And then I take some lighter brown paint, and this happens to be in the color Mushroom, I think. And I like to, because I don't stay, I, I usually do a base coat so that when I do the next coat, it, um, it doesn't bleed through as much. I did a, the bottom stencil, again, if you don't have a Cricut, you could, you could hand litter this on even, but, um, yeah. So one trick that I'm trying to share with y'all, and I, I'm keep, I'm kind of messing this up, but I do a base coat, like the base coat was black on this part. So I'm doing the stencil, I'm doing a base coat of black as well. This is going to help that stencil hopefully turn out with crisp, clean lines. And that's, I didn't have, I didn't stain it with Waverly Wax again. I just used that mushroom color to kind of give it a base color. And then I'm using that Waverly Chalk Paint in the color Snow White to make my um, design, the, the design I'm stenciling on. And I'm just stippling the brush up and down, just like pouncing it up and down, like in a bouncing motion. And I got that brush from Dollar Tree, the sponge brush from Dollar Tree. And I've used it for forever, y'all. This has lasted me so long. And for $1.25, I got a pack of, you know, assorted sizes. And it works out so great for projects like this. So I'm just trying to carefully stencil on so I'm not getting paint everywhere <laughs> or anything like that because it didn't add any extra painter's tape to protect any of the other areas. And now it's time to pull it off. And I usually pull it off before it's fully dry because I don't like the paint and the stencil to kind of, you know, adhere to each other. And I did have to go and weed out the, the little parts there. But now I'm taking some twine and some hot glue and I'm going to be putting several rows of twine in that middle section. And I just repeat that process and just carefully hot gluing it down. I am leaving or letting it hang over the edge because uh, I'm going to trim it later. It was, I felt it was easier to, to do it this way and then go back and trim it than try to make it fit a hundred percent exactly right the first time because Y'all know, I measure with my heart, so uh, I don't, it wouldn't have turned out that great. Or at least I think it would have been, it wouldn't have turned out as, as good as it does. And like I said, I just go back in with my scissors and trim that up. And then I decide to put a piece of twine all the way around. Oh, I'm giving you a preview of the other side. Wah! It was supposed to be a surprise. <laughs> oh well. So anyway, I'm taking the twine and going all the way around. And I'm really disappointed that I'm showing the sign because that was going to be the next one. Oh well. This is how the sign turned out. Now, I actually did not put a bow on it. I was thinking about putting one of those messy bows or just some other kind of bow. I ended up not putting a bow at all. And it does look super plain on the top. <laughs> so I think it needs something like some sort of embellishment, maybe maybe a similar leaf and heart embellishment across the top. I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments below what you think I should put there. I hope you're enjoying today's video so far. I hope you're getting some inspiration and maybe some motivation to create something today. But also I wanted to invite you to join my crafting group on Facebook. It's called Crafty DIYs on a Budget. I'll have a link to that in the description box below. And don't forget, check out the host channels, check out the playlist link after you're done watching my video, of course. But anyway, let's get back to the video. Here's another super simple, easy DIY using a scrap piece of wood that I stained with Waverly Wax in the color Antique. I did cut out this decal because I'm going to be doing a reverse stencil. And so I'm carefully placing <laughs> and measuring with my heart. I'm placing that stencil onto this scrap piece of wood. And I can't, apparently I'm just trying to be more careful than I normally am. The funny thing is vinyl doesn't stick that well to wood that has been stained with Waverly Wax. And so, um, see, the, the vinyl is just lifting right up. And so that's why I'm going to reverse stencil it. And I'm trying to fix things, put things, pat things back down. And I'm trying to press it down as best as I can because I don't want the paint seeping under the, the word home here. And at first, I was just going to do like this 
like rough um, dry brush type thing but I was like it I mean that was the idea I did want it to I did want it to look rustic and kind of you know weathered or whatever but I needed to do a little bit better coat so um, I'm not leaving as many gaps as maybe I would have for my original idea I guess so I got that all done and I just used a little <laughs> picker tool thing and I start to pull up the vinyl and try not to make a mess of things <laughs> or like um, mess up the, my paint job but it does turn out pretty crisp and I do I really like how it's turning out so far but I did want that rustic look so I go back in with my finger sander and I just start sanding down the edges the corners um, as you can see I did a little bit more sanding across the top there to remove some of the paint I'm, I'm not trying to completely obliterate what I just painted but I am trying to give it a more rustic look and this is how it turned out simple easy to do but it's a great decor piece and it would look great on your front porch it would look great um, in a vignette in your home just lots of things that you could do with this little simple sign all right, the last DIY, you've already seen what it looks like, but let me show you how I made it. So I got this wood round from Dollar Tree, and I'm just removing the jute twine because I don't need it right now. And I'm putting a piece of painter's tape down because it's going to be um, stained and painted. So uh, I just need to set that down. And I, I don't know why I'm showing you. Here's me, here's me putting painter's tape down. <laughs> and taking a long time to do it I don't know so I'm staining the top portion with Waverly Wax and the color antique you could do this lots of different colors but the ultimate theme of today's video was rustic or farmhouse and so um, these colors are colors that I use in my home because my home is kind of a modern rustic farmhouse eclectic type thing I don't know anyway so on the bottom here I am going to be stenciling so why are we just staring at that i don't know why that was there but um i'm painting the bottom with waverly chalk paint in the color snow white and i'm just giving it a good coat as you can see and i'm pulling the tape back and again i'm leaving that center piece without anything on it because i'm going to be putting twine there as well here's the cow print and I just got this off of design space but you could actually make this fairly easily by just painting it on without using a stencil I'm using a stencil and uh, so I'm putting the stencil down and peeling the paper transfer tape back saving the paper transfer tape because y'all know I try to reuse it I try to reuse the heck out of that and then I'm just taking some black paint and I'm painting on the black spots so this is super easy and I think cow print is just very farmhouse and um, I really love how this one turns out so you'll have to let me know do you guys like cow print stuff um, I tend to be in the leopard print family of things but this cow print thing turned out so stinking cute and so once it's not quite dry uh, I do pull back the decal to see it's just I mean it just looks so cute I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'm biased because I'm making it, but I did cut out another decal, and this one says, hey, y'all. I did do kind of like a Old West or Western type font for the hey, and then the y'all I did in a script font. I just thought it looked cute together, and I had seen another sign somebody had done that looked very similar. Again, I'm using that mushroom color. I actually really like that mushroom color, too. I just think it's a pretty brown beige color. And I'm using that to kind of as my base coat for stenciling. I know it, it's not a match for the antiquing wax, but um, that's what I use as a base coat. And then I go over it with Waverly chalk paint and the color Snow White. And that's how I'm stenciling on. And this hopefully provides you a crisp stencil when you pull it back. And for the most part, it usually turns out really pretty well for me. I do pull up the stencil before it's dry because I just I, I don't want the paint and everything you know blending together and and adhering together uh, you know then it just makes a little bit bigger of a mess but that's how it turned out 
I mean, that's how the stencil turned out. So again, just like on the other side, I am using some jute twine and I'm putting some jute twine in between there. I'm going to take a moment to again remind you that we do have a playlist and it's in the description box below. Check out the host channels. Check out my Facebook group, Crafty DIYs on a Budget. Join that if you want to. I trimmed it up and look, I did not put a bow on this one either. Although this one seems less like it needs a bow because there's less at the top that's bare. But y'all let me know. What should I do? A messy bow? Leave it just like it is? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for joining me today in my studio and also in my hotel room <laughs> while I craft and create. I really do appreciate the company and I'm just so glad that you're here and that you clicked on my video. Don't forget, I've got links in the description box below to the other host channels, Katie and Annie. I've got a link to the playlist that you're gonna find lots more inspiration. And I also have a link to my crafting group on Facebook. So if you wanna follow me anywhere on social media, like here on YouTube or on TikTok or Instagram, my handle is Our Grey House. But just don't follow me in real life though, because that's creepy. Bye.